Brazil is renowned for its sunny beaches, Latin flair and its football, but recently the Sao Paulo club played host to the country's biggest golfing event, the Web.com Tours Brazil Champions, presented by HSBC. The tournament was the perfect opportunity to promote the development of golf in Brazil as the country gears up to host the Olympic Games in 2016, when golf will once again become an Olympic sport. The Web.com event in Brazil is the most important professional golf event in Brazil. So we have the best players, we have around 10 Brazilian players uh, play in uh, this event. So that's a great, great opportunity to bring new comers to the golf. So we are opening three days uh, clinic events for young people, for their parents, and for the, so the adult event. This is a great opportunity to first to, to see the best players in this sport, and also to have the first opportunity to, uh, to experiment this. This sport is wonderful. Of course, the Olympics were a hot topic of conversation and HSBC assembled a panel of sporting champions to offer advice to the young Brazilian golfers playing in the tournament. Among the experts, Olympic volleyball gold medalist Giovanni Gavio, double world basketball champion Amory Passos, 2004 Open Championship winner Todd Hamilton, and football World Cup winning legend Roberto Rivellino, who admitted he was in unfamiliar territory at Sao Paulo Golf Club. This is the first time I've ever had the chance to experience golf. It's not really part of the sporting culture of Brazil, which is all about football, basketball and volleyball. But I am so happy to have been able to get to know these three golfers. They are three big talents of Brazilian golf, and I hope I have been able to share with them a little bit of my experience as an international footballer and as a world champion. And hopefully something has been passed on that will help them become better golfers and achieve more for themselves in the future. It was really nice, uh, you know, got to get an insight of champions' heads and what they're what they did while they were, you know, winning gold medals and World Cups. So that was really, it was a really good opportunity for us to try to get something out of it and maybe get our, our careers to the next level. Having a web.com event down here, it's really big for us. You know, a win for a Brazilian, for any player here, it would change their lives. You're almost for sure into the PGA Tour next year. So it's a good opportunity for us. Uh, it's good to get Americans coming down to play here and see what's all about. And hopefully they like it. It's the second year already, so definitely there was some some positive reaction because they came back, so hopefully that'll help it grow. Growing the game was a strong theme of the tournament, with clinics giving local spectators the chance to pick up a club and have a go. The Golf Paravida program translating to Golf for Life is backed by the CBG Golf de Brazil and the RNA and HSBC were thrilled to help out by hosting the clinics. As everyone knows, HSBC has been supporting golf for many years, uh, more than a hundred years. To be engaged with uh, golf in Brazil, which is a growing area close to the Olympics, where golf returns to the, to the Olympics, so it's really important that we support not just like in events like this championship, but also in the sort of the social activities that we do, where we provide to 28,000 uh, kids the opportunity to play golf for the first time in our social projects. So we are very pleased to have this event here and the meaning of this event for the future of the golf in Brazil. The work the CBG is doing in Brazil with the help of the RNA and HSBC is focused on making golf accessible and nurturing home talent. This of course starts at the junior level and with schemes like the Golf for Life program which started in Rio de Janeiro, golf kits were donated and hundreds of teachers were trained to help introduce and teach golf to their students. The government gave us a tremendous support because this program was approved was a, as a first priority to develop the golf 
at, at, at the sport, no? uh, both in Brazil through the schools, and of course the support from the RNA was wonderful, was great. Not only from the financial uh, side, but mainly due to the technical side, because they helped us at the beginning to design the program. Very simple. Just deliver the program at the school, instead of bringing kids to the golf course. First have fun there, then we, get, uh, we can pick up the talent and bring to the golf course. But the first action is to delivery, the introduction or to introduce, uh, to introduce the golf uh, to the children. That's the most, most important. Well, they certainly seem to be starting them young, and this well-backed initiative should help to build on the Olympic golfing legacy and make sure there are strong foundations for golf in Brazil for many years to come.